Well, our cows are so happy now, we're gonna make them dancing in some celebration. So I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to hold it vertically. Remember, vertically is up and down. And then let's take a black crayon for this. So we're gonna make our dancing cow. So the first thing we're gonna do with the dancing cow is we're gonna make a U right here for his face. So make a U. Now we're gonna add his ears and the top of his head. Now also on the top of his head, he has two little horns. So give him two little horns. Now we need to make his nose. So we're gonna make kind of a rectangle. And we're gonna put a circle in each rectangle. Give me a thumbs up if everyone's ready to move on. Okay, so now we need two eyes, one eye, two eyes, and now we're gonna do some markings on his face. Now remember, cows have their own unique markings, so your markings don't have to be the same as mine. I'm gonna give him one up here and color them in really nicely. And I'm gonna give one on the side of his face over here. And maybe we'll do one over here on his face. Give me a thumbs up when everyone's ready to move on. Now there's all kinds of different ways you can make your cow dancing. So it's up to you how you want your cow dancing. The way we're gonna start is we're gonna make his body and his body is kind of like another big U, almost a circle. So give your cow a body. Now a cow has four legs and they're pretty much just big, long rectangles. So give your cow a rectangle, two front legs. Then we're gonna give him or her two back legs. And this one is kicking his leg up. Now we need to put hooves on the bottom of each of his feet. Everybody ready? Now we're gonna do the udder. I'm gonna put mine right here. And then it has four. Now all that's left to do with your cow is to add his markings. And remember, every cow has different markings. So with your black crayon, add your cow's markings. Now depending upon how your cow is facing, whether or not you would see your cow's tail. I'm gonna put his little tail right here. So give your cow some markings. And make sure you color these in really nicely. So I'm gonna give everybody a few minutes to make the markings on their cows. And then we're gonna talk about the background. The background is what is behind your cow. So take a few minutes and finish your dancing cow. Okay, now that we're ready, we're gonna do the background. The first thing we need in the background is a line that goes behind your cow. And I'm gonna put a fence on mine. So to make a fence, I'm gonna make the posts 
then they're gonna go behind my cow. Make them all the way along the line. So make your posts all the way along the line. And these are vertical because they go up and down. Give me a thumbs up when you have this ready. Now we're gonna connect these fences. So we're gonna now make horizontal parallel lines to connect the fence. And make sure it goes behind your cow, not on top of your cow. Now, once you have this done, it's up to you what else you wanna do in the background. This is his pasture, so this will be green grass. But what's behind him? Is there just sky behind him? Or with my cow, I think there's gonna be another hill behind him. And maybe over here is a hill. And maybe over here, I'll make a barn. Maybe this is the barn where my cow lives. You don't have to make a barn, it's strictly up to you, whatever you want in your background. So I'm gonna give you a few minutes to finish this and then we're gonna talk about how we're gonna color this in. So now that you're done with your cow, we need to figure out how we're gonna color him in. So if you have crayons or colored pencils, you're welcome to use those. If you have watercolor paint, like I do, we're gonna use watercolor. And with the watercolor, we can go right over things. So I'm going to take a little bit of water because I'm gonna use the blue and I'm gonna go, wake up blue, because my paint is sleeping. And I'm gonna put some in the green and I'm gonna go, wake up green. And so after you put a little bit of water, you always go water, paint, paper with your watercolor and you just gently rub it and then paint your background. Every time you use it, you wanna go water, paint, paper. The longer the water sits on it, the darker it'll become. So I'm gonna paint my grass. Notice I'm not painting on my cow, because my cow is black and white, so the cow doesn't need any color on him. So paint your whole background. And remember, if you don't have paint, that's fine. You can use crayons or colored pencils. I don't think I'd use markers for this big of an area, because I think if you use markers, you're gonna wind up making a mess. Notice how lightly I'm using my paintbrush. I'm not going like that with my paintbrush. I'm keeping it nice and light. It's kind of like a ballerina, kind of on her toes. Kind of like the dancing cow. So paint the whole background. Now, I'm going to use a little red up here. So I have to put some water and wake up my paint. And I'm going to make my barn red. And paint some more in my grass back here. And be careful because we don't want to paint the fence. I like my fence white. You could also make your fence brown if you wanted to, if it was made out of wood. I kind of like the whiteness of it. Make sure you get all the spots. And remember, you're going water, paint, paper. Now, after we get the whole grass done, his meadows, I want to show you a trick if you're using watercolors for the background. Because I'm not going to put the sun in this, but I am going to put some clouds. And there is a trick to putting the clouds. So now that I have my grass all done, I'm going to take a white crayon and I am going to color really hard and make some clouds. 
I know you're saying, Mrs. Gasher, that's crazy. We can't even see those clouds up there, can we? But watch what happens when we take the blue paint and we go right over it. See how my clouds are showing up now? Isn't that cool? So go water paint paper and go right over your clouds and your clouds will show. That's called crayon resist because there's wax in the crayon and it's resisting the water. It's resisting the paint. It's saying, no, you don't. Not here, I was here first. So I want you to paint all around your cow. Now there's one color we kind of forgot. And that's the udder, and it's kind of like a pink color. So what we're gonna do to make pink, we don't have pink. So you could use a crayon. If you have a pink crayon, that would make your life really easy. Or we could take a lot of water and just a little bit of the red. And we could do his udder that way. So here is my dancing cow, all done, happy as can be. Can't wait to see your dancing cow.